Universal Center for Renovation presents Historical Israelites. This is strictly for educational purposes and commentary of biblical and secular historical literature. So enjoy. Many Polish Jews resemble African Americans. 1857, a statement made by Count Adam Gorowski of Poland. Because some people might be unacquainted with who Adam Gorowski was, I'm going to give a short account of his biography from Wikipedia. Adam Gorowski, or Count Adam Gorowski, was born September the 10th, 1805, in Rosso near Kalilas, Poland, May 4th. 1866. He was a Polish-born author who immigrated to the United States in 1849. His biography reads, He was the son of the Count Vladislav Gorowski. He studied under Hegel at Berlin University and obtained a degree from Heidelberg University. In 1849, he went to the United States where he engaged in literary pursuits and became deeply interested in American politics. He was strongly opposed to slavery He identified African Americans, mulattoes, as Jews. It would be reasonable for Gorowski to oppose the enslavement of African American Jews. And it seemed he did a noble gesture by alerting the unaware American public to the circumstances they had allowed themselves to fall under by their ignorance of Jewish ethnic types. In the year 1857, Count Gorowski authored a book that was titled America and Europe by Adam G. D. Gorowski. On page 177, we can read his observation concerning African-American mulattoes and their resemblance to Polish European Jews. Numbers of Jews have the greatest resemblance to the American mulattoes, sallow carnation complexion, thick lips, crisped black hair. Of all the Jewish population scattered over the globe, one fourth dwells in ancient Poland. I am therefore well acquainted with their features. On my arrival in this country, America, I took every light-colored mulatto for a Jew. Could not these Jewish mulattoes have descended from some crossing between the Jews and the Egyptians at a time previous 
to the Exodus? The count refers to the American, African American, mulatto as Jewish mulattoes. The observation and the perspective of the count was very interesting. So let's do a deeper dive into the physical appearance of Polish European Jews. Jews praying in the synagogue on Yom Kippur. This is a painting by Maurice Gottlieb. 1878. In the background of this painting, we can see the head of a man. The head is circled in red. This is a ethnic European Jew of dark complexion, mulatto type, that resembles an African American. But for an example of the physical type of a Polish Jew that the Count was referring to, we have no better example than the painter himself. The artist Maurice Gottlieb, who created this work of art, at the young age of 22 years old in 1878 appears in the painting three different times depicted in different stages of his life the red circle figures are Maurice Gottlieb in different stages of his life. And the right, there's Gottlieb with his father. The gentleman standing up with his head in his hands, that is also the artist. And to the far left, the little young man is also the artist as a young man. The artist Maurice Gottlieb appears in the painting three different times, depicted in different stages of his life. In one self-portrait, he is an adult in another, he is a young child. And in the third self-portrait, he is depicted as an adolescent. Maurice himself stands in a colorful, exotic-looking telet with head and hand. On the left, we have the artist as a small boy wearing a medallion with his initials written in Hebrew. On the extreme right is a young male figure, perhaps again Maurice, reading from the prayer book alongside a man who might well be his father. The painting presents an account of the artist's whole life. Maurice Gottlieb. For some more information on Maurice Gottlieb, Wikipedia. Maurice Gottlieb, born February. 21st slash 28th, 1856, died 
July 17, 1879. He was a Polish realist painter of the Romantic period. Gottlieb was born in Drohoberitz, then in Galicia, in Austrian Poland, now in Western Ukraine, to a wealthy Yiddish and Polish speaking Orthodox Jewish family. Numbers of Jews have the greatest resemblance to the American mulattoes. Sallow carnation complexion, thick lips, crisp black hair. I took every light colored mulatto for a Jew. Count Adam Gorowski, 18. 57. So let's go back to the full quote from his book. Numbers of Jews have the greatest resemblance to the American mulattoes. He's talking or referring to African Americans. They have Sallow carnation complexions, thick lips, crisp black hair. Of all the Jewish population scattered over the globe, one fourth dwells in ancient Poland. This is where the count is from. I am therefore well acquainted with their features, the features of Polish Jews. On my arrival in this country, America, I took every light-colored mulatto for a Jew. He thought every African-American mulatto that he saw, or light-skinned person, was a Jew. Could not these, referring to African-Americans, Jewish mulattoes, have descended from some crossing between the Jews and the Egyptians at a time previous to the Exodus? He basically is trying to say that these African-American mulattoes are actual Jews. And they go back to the time of the Exodus. The African-American or Jewish mulattoes or American mulattoes are Jews. That goes the history, the lineage goes straight back to the time of the Exodus with Moses. This is the statement that the Count is trying to make. Dream a world anew. The African American experience and the shaping of America. National Museum of African American History and Culture. On page 71, this book has a picture of a young African American man, or as the count referred to these people, American mulattoes. Or, as he called them, Jewish mulattoes. Page 71. Page 71. Escape to Freedom. Jackson, a runaway in rags, found refuge with the Union forces in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, in 1863, and later became a drummer boy. This image was used with one of Jackson in military uniform to inspire black men to enlist.
of an African American Jew and the Polish Jew shared the same physical traits, according to the count. Sallow carnation complexion, thick lips, crisp or curly black hair. He said, I took every light skinned mulatto in America for a Jew. The Universal Jewish Encyclopedia, 1942. The Universal Jewish Encyclopedia in 10 volumes. We are examining articles from volume the Universal Jewish Encyclopedia in 10 volumes, an authoritative and popular presentation of Jews and Judaism since the earliest times, edited by Isaac Landman. Moses, the Universal Jewish Encyclopedia, page 4, Moses and the Burning Bush, from a panel in the Dura Europis Synagogue. On page 145 of the Universal Jewish Encyclopedia, volume 8, you will find an article, Negro Jews. A rabbi named Brother Jacobs of the Negro Congregation, Moorish Palestine Temple in New York City, 1942. European Polish Jew, African American. Mulatto Jew, another African American, Negro Jew. African American consists of two types of Jews, one from Europe, Spain, Portugal, Portuguese colonies like Congo, and another type who spent considerable more time in Africa, like the Ghana Empire, the Jewish Ghana Empire of West Africa. Both types were victims of the transatlantic slave trade. The ones that spent more time in Africa and the ones that came from Spain and Portugal, both were victims of the transatlantic slave trade. The Roman Empire of Septimius Severus he ruled Europe, North Africa, and the Near East. Now, this story that is being told, this is still about the origin of the Judeo-Christian rulers of the Roman Empire. This history will also explain why the Judeo-Christian ruler of England, King Charles I, was described as the black man on the black horse in a nursery rhyme.